Good afternoon, this is Gabriel Jackson, and welcome to Halach Day number 1041. Halach Day keeps the eights our way. I know it's a little bit late. Let's get to it right before Shabbos. The laws of blessings on wine and the blessing of a tovim native. The blessing on wine is Barek Piragafen, who creates fruit of the vine, and after drinking it, Al Hagefen. It makes no difference whether the wine is still bubbling, meaning it is still fermenting and not yet in its full wine stage, or not. Even if the wine is flowing on its own accord, meaning the grapes have not been pressed but are releasing their juice on their own, even cooked wine or konditin, right? Which is, as we'll see, wine which were added honey and our spices or wormwood, which is bitter. Even if the wine smells like vinegar, right? And his footnote here says, before the days of pasturation, wine often soured and turned into vinegar. As long as, as it has the taste of wine, it is considered wine, as far as its blessing is concerned. But if it has turned into vinegar to the extent that some people refrain from drinking it because of its sour taste, then the blessing is in question. And although you can say the blessing, shakol, meaning it downgrades the blessing before drinking it, there is still a question about the after blessing, right? Is it the after blessing of a shakol? Is it the after blessing of a the the al-hagefen blessing? Therefore, you should not drink it unless you first make a blessing over good wine and drink that first. And that was your luck. Thanks for listening to Sponsor Future Luck 36 100 for the gold. Have a good Shabbos. See you tomorrow.